Bam, what's going on everybody? I hope everybody's doing well out there today. It is uh, Saturday, um, March the 19th, 2011. I just wanted to get a couple little uh, updates out there about what's going on around there in the world. Uh, the nuclear crisis is still pretty intense and it's going to be for a while. This is not something that's just going to be, you know, one day we're going to be like cheering, yay, it's over. Um, unfortunately, this is one of those long, uh, never ending things that happen, unfortunately. Um, they are trying to re restore power back to the one of the reactors. I guess they got a power line hooked up to it so they can start checking to see if they can get the cool down system to come back on. To, to help cool down the reactor, uh, I came across the website and I saw this link of these still shot photos that were taken after the fact and it showed the inside of before photo of the uh, reactor and it, the inside it's got these big crane inside of it and this crane picks up the, the, sp uh, the used rods and puts them into the, the cooling tank and these tanks are real deep and they're full with a lot of water and the rods stay in them to keep them cool. Well, you can clearly see from a before and after photo, the after photo of the explosion from the outside of the building, you could see right through the whole entire thing and you could see the destroyed crane which sits right above, it's a crane that doesn't move, right above this pool where all the rods are, completely exposed and the pool is dried up with the rods completely exposed. That's uh, that's horrible. That's really bad news. I guess they just came out and said they have found radiation in milk and let's say milk and spinach. One of those greens. Um, people have radiation on them from flights. They're taking flights and going places and getting tested. And the plane's got radiation on it. The luggage has got radiation on it. The people have got radiation on it. This is horrible. We have the Fukushima 50, is what they're called, and it's 50 people, and they're in there giving their lives up um, to try to to try to slow this down and try to get it under control, trying to get power back to the buildings, trying to stop the explosions from happening. There's still two reactors that um, can have some really big things go down in them. This is really unfortunate that this has to happen to uh, to our Earth. You know, this hurts all of us. I, I know we all want power. We all want power to go on our YouTubes. We all want power to play our games and charge our cell phones and watch our TVs and all that stuff. And you know, we overuse, we got these lights and we have a big house and we leave every single light on in the house and it just makes us need more power. And so we all think the solution is uh, nuclear power. But I, uh, when I, when I personally look at the pros and the cons of nuclear power, there's a lot more cons, and I don't really see the point in uh, going for the one with a lot worse outcomes than you know something that could be a little bit better. You know, I don't know why we have to continue to destroy this earth because of personal gain and profit. It just doesn't make any sense why people need to do that. And so, luckily, there's good people out here that are going to fight that, and. Uh, are against corruption and um, people that want to do bad to everybody. Let's hope that this uh, nuclear disaster doesn't get worse. Let's hope that it doesn't spread farther. Let's hope that more people don't die. Unfortunately, it's going to happen, and that's not what I want. And I know a lot of you out there are sitting back pulling hair out of your head upset because this is this is affecting the entire world this is really bad um, the UN on to Libya passed a no-fly zone and we have now seen within the last uh, couple hours uh, Tomahawk missiles being shot from US cruise ships and submarines stationed out in the Mediterranean we have uh, 20 ships out there I think and uh, three subs and uh, they're firing on uh, supposed 20 targets they have, uh, including you know uh, radar facilities, airfields for Gaddafi, um, so he can't get his air force off the ground. And the whole time he's sitting back saying he's uh, put in a ceasefire, and I, uh, I, I'm not fighting people. It's all a bunch of hoopla, and 
this back and forth media war we have between media stations and this media blackout and the truth. It's all about the damn truth. Why cannot why can't people tell the damn truth? Why is it all a big lie? Why is everything a big game? Why is everything a big joke? You know, uh, take some um, responsibility in your own instead of pushing it on someone else all the time. I don't, I don't understand that. Why people want to blame everybody else for their problems? Um, this is a big time in world history. This is a big time for everybody of the world. It, uh, even if you're one of those people who sit back and oh, I don't care, it doesn't matter. The you know the radiation will never get to the United States. Well, that's just an idiotic uh, statement, um, and unfortunately, I, I guess that's how you believe it is. But uh, unfortunately, the mass majority of people on the Earth will tell you that you're wrong. Um, radiation travels the whole entire globe. It'll circle this entire Earth and stay in the air forever. And I don't see why people think that, oh, well, it's just a little bit of radiation, so it's not that big of a deal. No, n any radiation is a big deal. Yeah, we get it naturally out in, outside from the sun and from different things like that, but um, with all the other things that are put on this earth by man, um, it has raised those radiation levels. And uh, you can only take so much. You know, going to the dentist or the doctor's, they cover you in lead, and then they take that x-ray. Yeah, that stuff's not good for you. You notice that they stand behind these walls and lead-protected buildings to make sure that they don't get hurt, even though they're being exposed to radiation at all times. Just like going to the airports and getting on t you know, going through the TSA rape down, um, <laughs> those scanners are 100 times worse than... Uh, chest scan at the doctors which are you know you can only get so many of those it's not like you can just keep on getting scanned it's it's it puts some small doses of radiation into you and you may not die immediately but um, let's say you would have lived healthy until you were 90 years old now you're gonna die when you're 50 are you okay with dying 40 years earlier I'm sure for some of you guys out there who are 20 and 30, don't give a shit. Yeah, I'll die when I'm 50. It's not a big deal. My life's over. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to look at it. Not really. Um, it's Some people just really want to be stuck in their, in their ways, and they don't want to give a shit about what's going on out there in the world. And that's fine. You know, it's, uh, it's your ass. It's your family's ass. Uh, you know, that's why, you know, people get mad at us because we're out here talking about stuff like this and they don't want to hear it and they're tired of hearing about this and they're tired of hearing about that well unfortunately it affects people and so I'm glad I'm here to at least tell people some um, things that are going on most of the people in my life don't give a shit about what's going on in the real world they only give a shit about what's going on in their lives I don't really got much going on in my life um, what I do have going on in my life is uh, getting the word out about things that I uh, that I am hearing about. I like to know what's going on because the stuff I know does affect me. It does affect my future, my kids' future, my family's future, my friends' future. And it's sad when I have to see people sit back and think that everything's okay and it can never happen to them. And I don't want to be the one to sit back and be speaking at their funeral because they weren't, you know, listening or paying attention. It just doesn't make any sense to me why you don't want to open your eyes and look at the possibility of the bad in people and uh, actually realize that the stuff that does happen in this world does affect you. So again, everybody, I, I just wanted to get that out there. I appreciate you guys stopping by my page and uh, saying hey and checking out what I got going on. Uh, I'm going to get back to a couple of things that I was doing, a little bit more research, and uh, I'll be talking to you guys a little bit later. Bam.